In this video, we're gonna go through the process of creating an IK for a landing gear. If you wanna download this file, it will be available on the Patreons. Sick. So this is the way I've set up the leg by default. And now we need to make a controller that controls the foot, the leg and the upper leg. These two sets of piston bones are controlled using modifiers, sorry, constraints. So we don't have to worry about them. Selecting the armature, let's go into edit mode. I want the control bone to be here. Now, importantly, the control bone can't be connected to any part of the armature. So from here, shift S cursor to selected. I'm just gonna go shift A and I've got my bone. Now I am gonna select that bone and we are going to rename the bone straight away as control bone. And from here, we're gonna go into pose mode. Now I'm gonna select my control bone and then shift left click the leg bone. So not the foot bone, but the leg bone. Cause this is the bone that I want to control in its position. So from here, I'm gonna press shift I, add to active bone. And then if I move this around, you can see that it's just, we are still a little bit off like that. That's because this line here is bending backwards, this leg. So if I were to just ever so slightly rotate that up from here on in, it'll always bend that way. Cool beans. But now the foot isn't being controlled, easy fix. So we're gonna select our foot bone over into the constraints, add bone constraint, copy rotation, and we're gonna select our armature, and then we're gonna select our control bone. And uh, there we go, there we have it. We've got our bone.